Hello YouTubers, uh, welcome back. Today's gonna be a real quick video, um, not a long marathon one like my last one. Um, if you did watch my last three videos, thank you very much. Um, anyway, today is an unboxing. I've been receiving parts and putting them aside, like really resisting temptation to open them up because I wanted to do like a mass unboxing here because it seems to be what everybody does. So, start off with the uh, small one. Conrod bearings, those will be handy, and that's the receipt, next one, head bolts, also very handy. Eternal struggle with sellotape, right? Oh my god. Head bolts. Beautiful. Nice and new. Don't reuse the same head bolts, especially if they're a uh, half a million case on them. What's in this box? Harmonic balancer. I ordered one of these because I read that with the harmonic balancer over time, the where the gasket sits tends to wear a groove out. So I thought I'd just buy a new one. Shiny. Good. No grooves. I've got new gaskets for that as well. All right. What else we got in here? These look like bushes. So, upper control arm bushes. Mine are stuffed. So I figure while the motor's out and I've got easy access to them, I may as well do them all. What's this? Fuel pressure regulator. Um, probably don't need it. Wanted it though. So, I bought one. They look cool. I think anyway, they look cool hanging off the engine bay. Plus, I have got some plans for it later on, so I will re was going to redo it anyway. Two small boxes. Oh, gauges. So, water temp gauge. And oil pressure gauge. Cool. And later on, I will probably end up getting a fuel gauge as well because my fuel, fuel level reader doesn't read right. Um, I fill the thing right up until it comes out the spout and it says I only have two thirds of a tank and then when it hits empty I still drive for about another, well was driving, for about another, I don't know, 150 k's. These are fuel injectors, so four new fuel injectors again. I don't know if my old ones were any good, but I thought while they're out, I might as well replace them. Just some standard OEM ones for OEM replacements. So, could get bigger, but for now, with it going to be just returned back to a stock engine, 
don't need bigger because I don't need to waste the fuel economy. That's what we got. Hmm. Oh, clutch slave. Again, probably didn't need to replace it, but it was coming off, so I figured I'd put a new one on. So, clutch slave cylinder. Nothing exciting really, these parts, they're just parts that I need. This one makes the car go brrrr. Starter motor. The reason I started this whole thing is because the starter motor stopped working. And I tried pulling it out. I was laying on the ground with a starter motor in my hand inside the engine bay. And I couldn't get it out. So I looked at it and I looked at it, laying on my back, and figured that the only way to get it out was to pull half the motor apart or pull the motor out. So that is the reason that this rebuild is happening. Oil pressure. Next box is quite big. Next box is exciting, it has what's written on it. Big boy, big boy. A box in a box. Get rid of this big box. Heavy duty clutch, brand new clutch. Again, I actually looked at my clutch and um, it looked fine. It had a lot of had a lot of chunk on it, but again, it's coming out, so it's going in new. Now the last one, we don't need to guess what these are. We know what these are. Beautiful. Can't wait to get them on. I've got a nice exhaust system on it already. Two and a quarter inch exhaust into a high flow cat into a sports muffler. And it dumps out just before the diff. Alright, so that's the unboxing. I will do a flyover. Hey guys, thank you for sticking around and watching the unboxing. So that's it for this video. Um, I've got more parts coming. I just, I want to get stuck into the work as I know the parts that I've got sitting there are going to be used for jobs that I want to do now. Um, quick update, painted the engine bay, painted it all black, got the guards off, painted the sides black as well. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to start painting all the bracketry and putting all the back brackets back into the engine bay and then i will just keep ticking off jobs slowly slowly all right guys thank you very much see you later